Former bus driver for the Granite School District has been arrested on suspicion of starting multiple fires to school buses. Police say one of them happened last year with more than five dozen kids on that bus. And that's not all. Police believe that Michael Ford set eight total fires over the last five years. New specialist Lindsay Ertz joins us live now. Lindsay, will he face charges? Well, Deanie, that's what we're trying to figure out right now. But police are recommending 66 charges for both felony arson and child abuse. Now, I spoke with District Attorney Sim Gill today. He says that they are going to screen this case and they will make some decisions on whether charges may be coming by Thursday. Now, what you're seeing here is burned video from a burned bus in 2017. Unified police tell KSL that Ford was involved in this bus fire. But the most recent one was in April. And the charging documents say that in February of last year, 66 children were on board a bus when police say surveillance video shows Michael Ford driving that bus and they report smoke seen coming from the dash. Police say that Ford continued driving while the smoke is emitting from the dash. And they also say that the children are seen coughing and covering their faces. Now, Ford is uh, then believed to have stopped the bus and extinguished the fire and all the children thankfully did get out safely. Now, in April of this year, police report that Ford can be seen using a thumb strike lighter to light an electrical panel underneath the dashboard. And police say that all four of the bus fires started when, while Ford was driving and by lighting the dash area on fire. Now, we spoke with the Granite District spokesperson, Ben Horsley. He says in April they put Ford on leave after evidence surfaced that he was involved with the tampering of a bus. And then they fired Ford in June after linking him to that bus incident with the children on board. Horsley he says that Ford has been an employee of the district since 1998 and that he did pass a background check. The Utah State Fire Marshal says they're still trying to figure out what a possible motive might be. We don't know a motive yet. Uh, we, we live in challenging times. I, I don't think any of us would, would argue that. But please keep in mind this is an anomaly. The system is working. The person has been removed from public service. Now, police say that they do believe Ford has a, quote, willful disregard for the safety of children, the public, and himself, and they believe he has nothing left to lose because he also set fire, they say, to his car and his house within the last week. Now, the state fire marshal's office is reassuring parents that there is no threat to sending your children on a school bus, but police want Ford to stay in jail, calling him an imminent threat to society. Reporting live, Lindsay Ertz, KSL 5 News. Yeah, allegations are disturbing. Lindsay, thank you.